This episode of Taz I Hope is brought to you by Jack Threads. What's up guys, in this video I'm going to be doing an unboxing and giving my first impressions only new Kindle Fire. All right, let's get to unboxing this thing. I got the little handy dandy unboxing knife over here just in case, just in case we need it. Just tear this off. Oh wow, fail. Now I can't get it open. Good job, Amazon boxing your product. <laughs> All right, there we go. So, let's see how we open this up. And ta-da, there's the Kindle Fire. Let's take this thing out. Check it out, it's got some plastic on it. I'm gonna set that to the side for right now. Doesn't look like we're going to need the unboxing knife, sadly. And then we just got a a uh, micro USB charging cable. So that's I think that's pretty much it in there. There's nothing else in there. There you go, there's the unboxing. Exciting, huh? But also, I'm going to be doing a first impression, so uh, let's take the plastic off of this. I'm going to kind of just give you my first impressions, talk about my expectations of it, and uh, why I actually purchased this. So, you guys know I'm an Apple lover. I love the iPad. Uh, personally, I don't think there's any other tablets out on the market that compete with the iPad at all. Spec-wise, yes, but who cares about specs when it doesn't have anything on it? So, uh, here's the Kindle Fire. Uh, there's the back of it. It says Kindle right there. Got the Amazon logo. Uh, information down there. Da da da. There's a screen, seven inch screen. Da da da. Uh, it looks like we got some speakers up here on the top. It's actually kind of backwards uh, because the power button is on the bottom uh, and the speakers are on top uh, than the iPad. This actually feels pretty light. I mean, it's, it's I don't know. It's actually kind of heavy. This rubber back feels good. That's really nice. I I, I really like the feel of that. So let's actually just let's turn it on. And then we got the micro USB uh, port down here, as well as the headphone jack. Hopefully it'll turn on here, Kindle Fire. Now, the reason uh, I bought this is because I think this may be the tablet that can compete with iPad. I, I know a lot of people have been saying, oh, it's not an iPad competitor, or it is an iPad competitor. Personally, I think if any company can do it, uh, like Apple does, it is Amazon. The reason for that is because Amazon controls everything, just like Apple does, and I feel like that's what makes the iPad succeed. So maybe they can take uh, the same approach with the Kindle Fire. So I think I just slide over here. Okay, it says welcome to the Kindle Fire. We're gonna set up my Wi-Fi network. Uh, but this is basically a content consumption device, which same thing with the iPad. iPad, you can do some typing and stuff on it, but I don't know about you guys, but I hate typing on the iPad. All right, I zoomed in a little bit for you. Now the keyboard on this thing looks nice. I like that. I like the animations, like when you tap on it, how it pops up. Uh, it looks nice. The keyboard feels pretty good. Actually, a lot easier to type on this because it's a seven inch tablet, uh, I think, than it will be the iPad, uh, but I haven't held it in my hands and tried to do that yet. All right, so let me connect to my, my network. Now one thing that is going to separate this from the iPad, I think, and if you're an Amazon user, is that it uses Amazon Prime. So if you're an Amazon Prime user or you use Amazon a lot, which if you don't, you should, Amazon's amazing. It's pretty much that you're gonna get everything that Amazon Prime comes with on your uh, Kindle Fire. All right, it says, hello, David uh, Moss. How does it already know my name? <laughs> Can, wait, how does it already know my name? That's crazy. I didn't even set it up. I guess it's just because I ordered it with my Amazon account. See, that's that's amazing. See, they already knew that was my name. I wasn't even expecting that. That kind of freaked me out there for a second. Uh, so it says, uh, it's uh, the latest Kindle, Kindle software is being downloaded and once it's completed it will only take a few minutes to restart your device and install the latest features. Now while this is downloading let's go ahead and compare the size to the iPad. Uh, so far it, I actually like the size of it. Uh, the iPad is good. I do like that the iPad has a big screen but I don't know. I get kind of tired of holding the iPad just because it's so big sometimes. I don't really actually use my iPad that much but I don't know. I think I'm going to use this more than I will actually my iPad even though I am an Apple fanboy. Uh, let's set this on top. You can see just how much bigger it is in size. It's not too much bigger uh, or not too much littler than the iPad but I think this is actually the perfect size. Uh, this is the first 7 inch tablet that I've had personally uh, but I know a lot of people do like the 7 inch tablet. So size I think it's pretty good uh, compared to the iPad. I actually, I like it better. Now one thing I do like about this is that I don't have to plug it up to my computer to set it up. So it automatically sets up. It's wireless. You don't need a computer for this thing. Uh, really the only cord you need for this thing is to charge it. Uh, like I showed you before, like it already knew my name. Alright, it's taken like 10 minutes probably to update this thing. So let's see if it, it's finally actually turning on now so I can use the thing. Not happy about that. There's one of my first impressions that it took forever to update this thing. Alright, let's cancel that swipe 
And there we go, welcome. Here is a few tips to get started on here with your Kindle Fire. I got the navigation bar, these top categories, uh, different kinds of content. So we got newsstand, books, music, video, docs, apps, and web. I'm really excited to try out the uh, web browser on this thing. All right, carousal. Swipe through your recent books, music, videos, websites, and apps. Uh, tap to open an item. Uh, favorites are like basically, I guess, just favorites. So let's tap through that, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Uh, quick settings, you can tap here to adjust your volume, brightness, manage Wi-Fi, and more. Uh, home, you can tap here to quickly return home from your uh, from anywhere from your Kindle. So there's the home button, uh, and then there's the settings button they're talking about. So let's close. And there we go, there's the Kindle, and it says David's Kindle. I wish it would say Ty there, hopefully I can change that. Alright, so it looks like here are my apps. Uh, I can scroll up and down. Uh, there's IMBD, there's Facebook. So that's cool, they got a Facebook app as if I don't check it enough. So there's the web browser. Uh, it does actually look like it's loading the interface up uh, for the iPhone, or the same like interface that you get on your iPhone. Uh, let's look, and it actually just loads it up in a web page. Let's go to IMBD. And that actually looks like it is an app, and maybe a web app. I'm not actually sure exactly how this web browser works, but I know they're using some Silk technology or something. So it looks like this is actually my favorites, and then here uh, are some of my stuff. Like it looks like that's a, a book. Let's tap on that. Now one thing I, I wish they did have in this was 3G because the Kindles, you can get 3G models of them, but unfortunately they didn't have uh, the 3D edition in, or 3G edition in this. So there's a, a book. Let's go to newsstand. Actually looks a lot like the iPhone's newsstand. Let's go home. So yeah, I mean it looks nice. I kind of like how this layout is, is how, how there's just apps and then there's different categories to organize them here and how you can have favorites. Uh, it's something new. Let's go to video and see what that looks like. So I do have Primus and videos so we can look through my movies uh, and all that. And then you can also rent movies on here it looks like. Um, let's see, let's tap on Lost. I'm not going to obviously start playing it but you can see here. Uh, okay, so since I do have Prime that's zero dollars so I can just tap on it and it should be able to play. So I can just have watch now which I'm going to hit home. I don't want to do that. I just want to make sure it will work. So yeah, that looks nice. I, I like the layout of it. I like that I can have all my stuff in this little layout. It, it looks actually really nice. You got the search bar up here at the top uh, where you can search through your library and it looks like the web. Uh, okay, so we can actually search through all those sites. Uh, let's see, what else is there? Uh, music. Let's look through the uh, music store. So you got cloud and your device and you can basically, I guess, just go through uh, all the music. By the way, Drake's new album, Take Care, is out. Go freaking buy that. Let's tap settings up here, see what that looks like. It's a little bitty button, hard to tap it. <laughs> so you can uh, hit unlocked, volume, brightness, Wi Fi, sync, uh, and more. Let's take a look at more. Okay, so we got like basically just a little settings app so you can uh, just change everything around your date, time. Uh, display sounds your account. Uh, so yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. That's just my first little impression so far I like the Kindle Fire. I like the layout of it. I think it looks pretty good I'm excited to start using this thing playing around with it and see how I like it and if I actually use this in my daily life Now before we head out of here, let's take one last look at our sponsor for this video Jack Threads. Only suckers pay full price If you like premium apparel brands like Kid Robot, Hurley, and Stussy, but hate wasting all your cash on them Listen up. You can score these premium brands at up to 80% off every day. There's an invite only club just for guys called Jack Thread, serving up street, skate, and surfwear at prices that will melt your brain. There is a wait list to join though, but if you go to jackthreads.com slash tie right now, you'll get instant access to all these killer hookups and deals, so go now. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick little video on the new Kindle Fire. I'm excited to start playing around with this thing, seeing how I like it, and doing more videos on it for you guys. So if you have any more video suggestions for me that you'd like to see on the Kindle Fire, make sure you leave it in the comments below, and I will try to do those for you guys. If you want to follow me on Google+, Facebook, or Twitter, the links are below. Make sure you do that. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to me on YouTube, because that will let you know when I post new videos. Alright, that's it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.